order, let us have a moment of silent prayer or meditation. Thank you. You may be seated. Can, can you just go to, to the person involved? I don't have to announce the obvious. Uh, order, honorable members. Order. Honorable Tumo, what rule are you standing on? Thank you, Sam Lom. Before I proceed, I'm sorry, Sam Lom. Also, I'm not sure you're going to be able to do it. I've, I've received the report and I've asked the secretary to yeah. talk to the member. So, Affected. So, Order. Can we then proceed with the, today's? Uh, all members, the, the House is correcting to deal with the business of today. Can we all get settled and move to item? Item number put number two, they have nothing to, on that one. Item number three. Honorable Zungo, when you are all ready to start, you must let the speaker know so that we can proceed. Please. We don't have to do that. We then Item number three, Apollo announcement by the speaker. The following apologies have been forwarded to the office of the speaker. Honorable Dr. B.M. Hart, Deputy Speaker, uh, has got a doctor's appointment, won't be able to attend today's sitting. And the following honorable MECs have also tendered the apologies. Honorable uh, Mr. S. Zigalala, Tube Nube, WG2C, Dr. SM Dlomo, R. Tim Tembu, BF Scott, M. E. Dlungwan. Those are the apologies that we have received. And uh, for information, there will be official opening of the Gizuru Library on the 20 March, which is Wednesday tomorrow. Uh, then there will also be Good Green Disc campaign by the Premier on the 22nd March 2019 at 9 to 11, yeah, 1100 at Mbali Unit Ward 19. Then we've got a report tabled by the Transport Portfolio Committee on the final mandate of the National Transport Amendment Bill. That report has been tabled. Are there any announcements from the Office of the Premier? Uh, Madam Speaker, there are two announcements. Thank you. Uh, on the tw March 21st this year, the provincial government of KwaZulu Natal we will host the annual Human Rights Day event in Upongolo, Kwakipunyawo, in Ward 3. The event is scheduled to start at 9 a.m. Human Rights Day, as we all know, emanates from the killings in 1968 of 69 peaceful protesters. The protesters were unarmed were opposed to the carrying of our passes by African people and had marched to the local police stations to ban their panzers. Since the dawn of liberation, the day has been declared Human Rights Day to honor the blood that was shed and the sacrifices made by so many black and white in South Africa so that we could all be free today. The second one, is uh, the one we have announced already 
Madam Speaker, but for the purposes of clarifying the issue, I will repeat it. It's the Green Deeds campaign. Following the national launch on 8 March 2019 of the Good Green Deeds campaign by His Excellency, President of the Republic of South Africa, Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa, the province of KwaZulu-Natal will officially unveil our own program this Friday. A Tumamina initiative, the KwaZulu-Natal Good Green Deeds program, will be launched here in the Nsunduzi District Municipality, as I have said, on the 23rd to 22nd, March 2019. The Good Green Deeds program seeks to mobilize the whole country around environmental, environmental consciousness, including harmful practical practices of littering, illegal dumping, pollution, and similar activities that are harming the environment. This groundbreaking program will promote better planning and management of resources by all sectors of our society and promote a clean environment in all urban and rural areas of our province. It seeks to change people's attitudes, behaviors towards responsible management of waste and keeping their neighborhoods clean, green, and safe. The event will start with a massive cleanup campaign of the capital city in the morning, which will be led by political principals. It will culminate in a community event to be held in Imbali later the same day. That's the clarity on your announcement, Madam Speaker. Thank you. I'm glad somebody is clapping hands. Thank you, Honorable Premier. We will proceed to item number five, starting with item number five, one, debate and voting on the final mandate on the National Land Transport Bill, B7B of 2016. And uh, to introduce the bill, uh, the report on the bill will be the chairperson of the Transport Portfolio Committee, Honorable N. N. Sipidla Sapeta, for five minutes. Thank you, Somlomo, Spingelela Malunga, Ashton Pegela Lind. Honorable Speaker, in terms of Section 424 of the Constitution, the National Council of Provinces represents provinces to ensure that provincial interests are taken into account in the national sphere of government by participating in the national legislative processes. The National Land Transport Amendment Bill, which is a Section 76 bill in terms of the Constitution, was referred to the Transport Portfolio Committee in terms of Rule 241. In turn, the legislature was, in terms of Section 118 of the Constitution, compelled to facilitate the public involvement in the legislative process of the legislature and its committees. On the 21st August 2018, the Portfolio Committee convened a special meeting to have a briefing from the National Department of Transport in terms of Rule 2421 of the Standing Rules. The above mentioned special meeting sub subsequently resolved to request an extension on the negotiating, negotiation, negotiating mandate due date, which was due for the submission on the 11th of September 2018, a request that was uh, granted uh, Honorable Speaker by NCOP. The committee then resolved to hold four public hearings in the following districts, King Tachuayo District, uh, Umzinyati, Herukwala, and Ilembe District. The public hearings were advertised on the Zulu Land Observer, the East Requalent Fever, the Mercury, uh, for these public hearings, uh, Honorable Speaker. The public hearings were satisfactory attended by the relevant stakeholders and members of the public in all the venues uh, that uh, were advertised in the newspapers. Stakeholders pre present at the public hearings asked questions and clarities and concerns uh, that were and concerns that were at, and concerns 
all those questions and concerns that were raised by stakeholders in these public hearings, Honorable Speaker, were responded to by the Department uh, of Transport um, officials that were present in those uh, public hearings. Stakeholders that attended these public hearings, Honorable Speaker, also made verbal proposals about certain clause on the amendment bill. The proposals of which the uh, provincial um, committee included uh, in, the, in, the, in the report that was sent uh, in the NCOP. During the public hearings, a call for written submissions was made to those who attended to submit their written submissions to the KZN legislature before the 28th of September 2018. The KZN legislature then received written submissions from the following stakeholders. Gareth Taylor from Taxify South Africa, PTY LTD, Taxify South Africa, PTY LTD, Uber Driver Partners in KwaZulu Natal, KZN Meter Taxi Alliance, Santaco, and Dandi Transport. Thereafter, Honorable Speaker, on the 25th of October 2018, the committee convened a special meeting to consider the submissions on the bill from the stakeholders and communities. All the members present uh, during the meeting uh, of the 25th October 2018 resolved to support the bill with the proposed amendments. The Select Committee on Economic and Business Development convened on the 21st November 2018, uh, again on the 29th January 2019, and the last meeting was on the 19th February 2019 to consider the provincial negotiating mandates on the a, a, a proposed bill. The select committee noted the proposed amendments by all provinces and resolved to incorporate some of the amendments in the bill. And my colleagues that are going to come after me will uh, indicate which areas were uh, 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 agreed to by the NCOP and which uh, clauses were not supported by the NCOP. Uh, Honorable Speaker, the committee recommends that the legislature confers authority on one, the KZN provincial delegation to the NCOP to cast a vote in favor of the National Land Transport Amendment Bill and the head of the provincial delegation to the NCOP or a delegate designated by the head of the delegation to cast a vote in favor of the National Land Transport Amendment Bill. Honorable, Honorable Speaker, Sia Bonga Gakulu, Si Committee Le Transport, Moguchi Ukwazu Gusnegeza Le Lutuba, Moguchi Si presented this report. Thank you very much. Thank you. The next Honorable M. C. Fraser, nine minutes for NC. Nga Bonga Somlom, Bingelelin Jiako, Bingelele Undunangulu. The cabinet like our members is shamted for some pegil. Galbonga leli tuba, oguti ukongo lose angi pelona, oguti ngizo kuluma galom teto okuti eloayo. Somlo mungi sangumbu zelenzi ako oguti kubeni kikaba e ningi la pobeto la galakoni oguti abashaeli be moto. La Baba Matagi, Bo Upa, Bo Texify, Bebez Tola, Be Bulalana, Bez Tola, Be Chahana, Lungeko Uzins, Nakores Albong, Hulmenga Congolos, Uguti, Uwazi Luguti, Ukamgen Alom Teshrana, Uza Kriviela, La Poge Uzobe Ubanigaza Kona, Amanda, Uguti Bonke Bagwas Uguti. Balau Lake, a good angel, eight is the Abbas of Seven Zangayo. A good long teto, a good name, Daugela, Gube Kona Kona, Octavia Loktize. La Ama definitions at his angel allowing the wash at all a corner in meaning so that they are specifications when you are talking about them. The first one is that one of association. In this bill, when you are talking about uh, association, you are talking about the group of operators. Those operators formed themselves uh, to make sure Uguti they promote the interest for that particular group. Kushuguti Umabese Benza, 
betuta bantu ngala mategi sabazo bebe wa sevenzis. Kuzo bako nama associations. Kota lao ma associations intloso ya wo uguta pegeleli interest ya bobo nga ba kibeli. Ne interest ya lolo nki business in lelel hamba ngayo. Ogu shutitekzo ba nemteto ezo be iba chelu gutigmele ba hambe ganjena. Ba kubege ganjena. Aba sezu wazu guti benze. Nga pandle guti be 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 legislated elinye lama gama it's electronic hailing services sikhuluma ngani masikhuluma nge electronic hailing services sikhuluma ngohlobo lwezokuthutha lolo olizoba neyimoto ezihambayo ezithi zihamba zibe zikwazi ukuthi uyayifonela uyayicela ukuthi useshisha mthetho wazi unathali umnikeze address uyeza uzoku Tata kona, ngezikati wenzi ragonke loko, it's electronic, uyagwazi ukuthi kube ne trace, yoguti moti suga la izala. Ngeazi geso mlo mguti, ngokamba kwe mnyaga, ya manya malunga, aslo nipegi legile lisa itla, mlaga left, bazo nga understandiga atluti nkuluma ngani. Ka, ngekuluma, ngoselo njoli kishelifane no upa, lao ya yufo une kona, ushugu tugupi, besu yezu zolano. So, lolo shelo ge manje, lune ndlela, olzo beselbizu wangayo. Utige lo mteto ge, sekfanele bagwazi, guti bagwazi, guti babese marenke nabo. Ungabi uguti amarenke, awabantabatize pela. Kota lo lusle obolo amategisi, oganye lue ntiza. Luguazi na luguti libe nesabelo, luguazi guti lingene, litati gashabantu, ngwe njela e dignified. Again, kune definition la paya e kaziwe, a non-motorized transport. Lam la poge kukulunyo angayo yong ngalo long kushobo le transport, including shama paisigili e tu 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 konke gule bill it's covered. Lom teso e som lomo upin du nige za man la gondu go go kuma ministers uguti agwazi uguba nezwi kube wona zogwazu guti abe nez loktina gule operation. Upinde futu nige za ma provinces. Amandlo kutagwazi ugungumu kutitina as KZN. Sifunu kuti imoto ze tuzikotu ranje. Sifunu kuti zibe ni mbala onje. Sifunu na sebe nze ranje. Ngako reso mlo more. Emva kuti ulmene holwa ANC. Ubo ni luguti uzinzo aluko rathele. Kweza mategis. Usuzo gwazi lo mte tu kutu asiste. Ugwazi nuguti ube nende la mara itza zogwazi uguti abe managed because inta bienzi uguti ube kona logulua oko na parati kwe upa na bama tegi islawa ama mita teksi. It's because upa is cheaper so they are losing business. But uma lo mte tusu uko na guzo gwazi uguti kumota rate we even ama fees. Bese guba kona that harmony we industry. Ngako resu uko ngo lo se eso mlomo. Simela, sikutaza, abantu, uguti. Bazi pege zonke lezi zinte zinte ranga ra esi zenza yo up to now. E zenzu guti mpilo, itukba stable ngenje la efunara layo e South Africa. Bakumbu lengo mshara eight. Sifisago nuguti na malunga, maese pumeyo kokinda banga panje. Abache le pela bantu kutigu ne mte shwana esloksi pasi sanje emi senje nga lo. Uguza bantu bati beka bangu tuba vote la bantu. Ngota bebebe na li kinso lugu tika uhulmenwe ANC uyange nelela gugona gonke la siya estole kona gune ingi ngana. Ngako reso mlo mongiti su ANC le pili skaba ngutizo siza ekteni kunipe ubula la na parati kwa bantu abase benzisu uaba drive upa, aba taxify. Nala baba mamita Texas because everything will be regulated. Nyabonga rakulu. Sia usega lo mtetu. The next one is Honorable Shah. Four minutes on behalf of the DA. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Honorable Members. The National Transport Amendment Bill was introduced to cater for the needs and the demands of the new developments within the land transport sector and to provide for issues uh, that have arisen since uh, the implementation of the National Land Transport Act 5 of 2009. Uh, Madam, 
Speaker, we are pleased to note that amongst other provisions, the bill provides clarity on e-hailing services, something that the DA has been long calling for as part of its policy on making provision for new technological uh, advancements and developments in the land transport sector, Madam Speaker. In terms of the act, the respective regulatory entities may specify areas for picking up passengers. Uh, this will ensure that e-hailing taxis operate within a clearly defined area, allowing for other taxis, uh, you know, a space to operate in the area as well. Hopefully, this should remove uh, currently existing frictions uh, between the Uber and, uh, you know, the, 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 the e-hailing and non-e-hailing uh, taxi operators, uh, and things should become normal. Um, Madam Speaker, the bill provides also for passengers to be provided with full details, including the cost of the trip, the details uh, of the motor vehicle as well as the driver, and hopefully this will make things uh, safer in the industry. Uh, the bill is innovative uh, in that it promotes and supports non-motorized forms of transport, uh, thus recognizing the diversity of land transport mobility. Uh, Madam Speaker, devolution of uh, power is a deliberately considered DA policy, and therefore we're pleased to note that the bill now provides for provinces and municipalities to take control of their transport needs, including land transport planning and implementation. Now that the provincial uh, integrated development strategies and public transport strategies are being placed in the hands of provinces, uh, it is hoped that greater attention will now be given to neglected rural areas. Uh, Madam Speaker, we do have one serious concern, uh, which is that we are not sure where the municipalities have the necessary uh, capacity uh, in terms of funds and skills, etc., to actually implement the bill. Uh, provinces will have to capacitate, guide, and assist uh, municipalities in fulfilling this critical transport mandate as uh, envisaged by the bill. Uh, proper coordination and intermodal planning between the various local authorities will be key uh, so that transport becomes a you know, seamless, uh, irrespective of which uh, municipal area is involved. Uh, this may also require the development and maintenance of a land transport information system, which currently does not exist. Madam Speaker, in conclusion, uh, the bill also provides clarity on the functions of the three spheres of government in respect of land transport. However, in order to provide safe and cost-effective uh, transport to our people, there would have to be uh, a, a, an efficient, effective working uh, uh, synergy and relationship between the three tiers uh, of government. Without that, this bill will not bear fruit. There are no serious implications, Madam Speaker, uh, financial or otherwise, uh, related to the bill. Due processes have been followed, and therefore, the DA has no reservation in uh, supporting uh, this bill. I thank you. Uh, thank you. The next is Honorable L.J. Clark on behalf of the IP, three minutes. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. <clears throat> I'm debating on behalf of my colleague, Mr. Moodley. Uh, this morning I read through the bill itself, and I hope that most of the members of that committee did read through it. It's a technical bill that deals mainly with uh, specific issues regarding, uh, uh, technical issues regarding what will happen in certain areas and in certain tiers of the governance regarding land transport. The problem with these type of bills is that what they do is they set out a nice framework, but what happens with the effectivity thereof, and the application thereof. Now, we do know that. We know what happens. What happens is the president climbs on a train, and then the train is more than an hour late, and then that train takes four hours to drive 50 kilometers. So it doesn't help to have this framework. It doesn't help to have this technically advanced act if the application thereof and the efficiency and effectivity of applying in real life does not exist. It's ridiculous. Just imagine the incompetency of our land transport if we know that our president is going to be on a train and notwithstanding that, 
it still doesn't run properly. It's shocking. I mean, you know the president is there. You must now do your part. And you just cannot do it. You can't get worse than that. So you can have your bills. We can enact them. We, if they can be act, they mean nothing. Absolutely nothing. If this is what happens. We, as legislators, must understand that if we enact bills that becomes acts, it must also be applied. Otherwise, it means nothing. Please read these bills, understand what they are about, and understand that they mean nothing except if they give effect to day-to-day -to -day life of people. They don't. This one don't, and it's been proven. Uh, the IFP do support the bill because it is a technical bill. Hopefully, in the next five years, there will be an efficient government. I, I doubt it. The next, the next member is Honorable P. H. Kuzwayo, two minutes, on behalf of the NFP. Honorable Kuzwayo. Yeah. Honorable Speaker, MEC, and Honorable Members, the, this bill is very crucial, more especially in light of the behavior involving acts of violence and killings that had erupted in the sector. Regulations on this bill to be made in order to also protect upper, upper meter taxi drivers and operators. These regulations has to be done and be made simple to read and understand in order to ensure that the bill meets its objectives. It is a fact that many of the operators and drivers do not comply, simple because comprehending this bill is a struggle on its own. The National Freedom Party welcomes and supports the amendment. We also note the serious concern on waiting period for issuing of licenses. However, the 60 days waiting period is unjustifiable. It delays the processing of operating licenses. Madam Speaker, we fully support the amendment made on commercial contracts. This will allow municipalities to negotiate commercial contracts with municipal entities rather than always having to go on tender. NFP stakeholders and communities in the province of KwaZulu-Natal agreed to support the bill with the proposed amendment. NFP supports the bill. Jongobasa Zigevel, Uti NFP, I Pegelela Izinto, Ezi Siza Umparati, Ganyana Labo, Abanga Koni, Ukonda, Imteto, Yingako Sites, Yagno Saguti, Imtete Fanana Lena Yenziwe. Ibeses many eses of was good la banta basavenza gulemboni, bakone we funda, footy bakone we conda, uguze bezo was good benzen o we gona, banga itoli, se benza onga fanele gile, nala o mazui, ye nfp, ya ye se gai pi, diabo. The next member, honorable Vintlobu, one minute on behalf of the EFF. Shail <laughs> driver ngendlela efanele kodwa siyaknotha MEC ukuthi kusane nkinga yokushusha ama license and aware of temporary license operating licenses in case where abantu besa apply ama license that gives a problem era restrictions abakwazi ukuma noma ukupick up noma ukubhi labafanele khona which reduces the competition and that creates a problem mase kuya eintweni zomthetho ngoba bayasuseka kwezinye indawo but over and above we think this bill into ente efnesi shayili shombe elegele lang ya bomo. Thank you. The next is Honourable Sakura Chwansi on behalf of the MF. She is not in the house. Then I will call upon Honourable S A Duma on behalf of the NC. Ten minutes. Thank you so much, Honourable Speaker, for affording us this opportunity once again. Indeed, this bill is going to harness and address some of the issues that has caused some issues 
in the automobile industry. It is also going to address some of the issues within the sector of transport sector in South Africa. Honorable Shah was able to encapsulate the spirit of the UPA sector, which is correct. Honorable Fraser was also able to, to capture that spirit. We agree. We must also highlight, Honorable Speaker, that unfortunately, the cycle that is used by our NCOP sometimes deprive us of the enough or adequate amount of time that we should debate some of these issues. So because uh, Section 4 of the Constitution gives them enough power that they can just regulate, they can facilitate the time, they can even visit provinces so that we do understand the cycle, we do understand these bills. Because you find honorable member like De Klerk is saying this is a technical bill. He did not prepare. The only thing he could advance is that this is a technical bill. He did not read the bill. If you can just give him a space, what do you mean by technical bill? Immediately is saying that the president was stuck for three hours. He did not say anything about the bill itself. Talk about the bill. What does it entail? Let us expatiate around the principle of this bill. In the main, it contains the clearer definition what is going to happen on the issue of mode of transport, on the issue of the jurisdiction at the rank, and the issue, if you phone the issue of Uber, that the issue of what is going to happen from now onwards, so that you harness the issue of contradictions. And I thought that you are a law fund or you are a learned fellow. I wouldn't go to an extent of saying that in the past you were able to encapsulate or, or you were given the education or I wouldn't know. In fact, let, let me pause just right there because I just want to go to an extent of saying that, in fact, let, let me finish this sentence that you are saying that in the next five years there will be an efficient government. You are, pro, you are giving us a nice profess on the 8th of May people vote, on the 9th of May, NC will be in power. So you can just finish the sentence. In the next five years, there will be an efficient NC government in power. So just be assured of that. So be clinical on that. It's not like you are just thinking, even if it means that you yourself you are not going to vote, a majority of Africans and South Africans who are sober, who understand the new dispensation, what it entails, they will understand. PT, you have to impress because you know you might not come back because Abantu Ben Bazo Buya Sebo Bianga takes San and Shamans of Sebo Four. So you must understand. Honorable Shah, you are also worried about the capacity within the third sphere of government, which is the municipality. We must also address that imbalance. I think it is an issue that we must say that let us ensure that we capacity all three spheres of government, their understanding, because the jurisdiction lies within that contours being the municipality, because you'll find the ranks in the municipality, even the contradictions, they are the one, even the issue of politicians, the councillors, they must have that acumen of ensuring that when they pass the bylaws, they must complement this bill, the Section 5 of 2009, they must ensure that they complement in their zones, in their jurisdiction, so that they do understand what is currently happening. Because I think it is this instrument that is going to also encompass, it is going to develop our people. Because in reality, that Ungahambuye Yonkindao, in the Banjaye Taxi Industry, Yone Seba Sizga Kula Band, Yone Batataka Kula Band, so I just hope that in Wendo you were also taking into cognizance that the Western Cape municipality is not the exception. So unfortunately, we're also going to govern the Western Cape province this time around. So those are the issues because you usually, you are so, in the, in the past, you used to be biased all the time. You, you, you'll use Zoom and say that the Western Cape is the exception. We are going to, we are telling you that even the Western Cape continue, we are going to govern that Western Cape province. Rest assured, be warned. 
you will be here on the 9th of May. But, but, but let, 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 us, let, let us proceed, Honorable Speaker, by also mentioning that uh, let, let, let's show Slalo, we commit Slalo, see a face I got to Aguti, I see it is a little good to get, get a scrapper, see a scrapper, and you would see Namshan Jenner, Sis Kessler, go with Figure Landelayo, Lea Valley Shyam Teto El Cool, Noma, Lea Valley Hulumen Um Cool, Nominational Assembly. Sas Shilo, Gasatige, Ingrage of Ancona Cool, Iowa Manning, a cool, and my pillars of a seba flat deal, in Dalagi processor build. We are shy, son, I got cool, who tells news in the fun habits and the gill, Banis Cates and Nelly and so P. Nanny Cycle, I will tell you a nail. I go coffee, who would tell us a song is cut, even isn't as soon as the seas. Says the Gopman Shimpef Mool, as near the lame motors are my opa, says Phil. Let Bill see debate her as leg as Nepoli, Simangena, and Sibylla Velia Fourth Industrial Revolution. Gabe si a tata the sector si si a developer already. Gobi yo nezo Caesar even he enhance e youth utinge because it takes the industry in South Africa. It bigger the inganyelo abantu in the past were not educated. Jenga manje si zo attract even abantu abasha. Jenga manje si zo wenzu uti we well transformed. Gobi si zo ranwa even a youth ya se South Africa. Ngegi saba inteti la banta banga fundile nda bezi ita primu es fundazo saka usaitu. Se zo tata even la bantu la ba abasha, abazo bena makono, bazo ba yonge na giona. Se zo ba into, ezo bisi zinto kutu wongu munti singa attract. True e fourth industrial revolution. Se so i modernize, uguti attract a wongu munti. Wenza ganja nike uguti, ututugi se ugutu baba meka terana i text industry. Senza shogu si ikwipe, si fage zonki zinto. Kona guzo tige umase yekile. By Tati La Babasha, Bakwas, good Bangalele Gionagate, Ibe, well old business, Elzo was registered, Elzo was Ziwa, Uko Zebagwas, would Mr. Cochran and Taylor, Bagwas Bangan, could be business El Tutugayo, Elzo was Gum Class of Hulumen, Linga B business, Elote Legbenati, Ali Tutugi, Alfunun, Gena Hulumen, Uko Zetina, when the Gitos of Umia Maglona. So this, this bill is going to address all those imbalances. Si Ifuna, Wutige, Umak Tutugi, and Yamako. Who attract Tabanta Basha, Eos Legalel, God, where he has deprived in the NCOP. Uguti totobe, si afisi uguti si ipasise, si segi pili, uguze imitieti ikala. Ezi nye zezi ntebezi yoksiza kakulu ugutike, umusutike, into ye upa, isi zo waziwa manju uguti, wobani ekfanle baso nse yi upa. Futi baya yi komplimenta yi teks industry, then ugutike bayo ba yi force, enga ti bayo kabana na yu kathle kathle. So, kufane kwa zi kathle uguti agi oni competition. Then go be competition. Go by yonder to pindi be cabane so good tea. A banto tolo good fun and a bayang disana, bayang and a macon of our sanganis, a pot to boning at by your pangisan, a candela manjen, fun and gabesias, good by his son, do Elio Tonsela Pampi, the spoon would see Shonjalo, the som lom would lom Teshuana once were thick. We are born to Mshon Shuzung, who sang Pegam Nand, we are bought now. We are easy on them, Sajle Piluti Kulmangan, Wabbing as Baz by Fund. Sian Fund, this Agamaj Bashon Shooter, see Segelen de Pil, is or sees what e two two is in Bonnet, is or sees a wonk, Munto Corner, South Africa, is Fundas Zaras Natal, is your tutorial cool. Nasenda when you say Makayak, is your snatis, who would take back corner with more figure my rank into a wi fire, Nakona get started into a Wi Fi, a free Wi Fi, is a snake, so good and the Galula, it was good to set high and the Gashe, you go on the Sabasia, no more with Naboma Spala, but Slegger Lega cool, Sifunu would have shown Jalu would say Sageli Pil, see at Fisaga cool, Tamacono eight at two two gis, see a bonga cool, and I think a Kubega Pambi, see a bonga cool. Thank you. We then Call upon the chairperson, Honorable N. N. Spilasapeta, to close the debate for five minutes. A Sabonga Somlomo, a Gizotala Ngobonga, all the members or parties that participated uh, in this debate, Ega Kulgaz Labo, a Abausegeli Lelom, a Amendment Bill. 
Uh, in fact, uh, go on our Gama meetings away to be seen our Som Lomo. I call Nel Lord La Ama members the portfolio committee. I got Kombisa, Ukonga Jabuli, and Gale Bill. So Angizuku, Trita is cut salient, Lunas cut sarco, go go respond, go mistake, neglect. I think Utuma has sufficiently dealt uh, with the issues that were raised by member. But I will request the whip of the IFP to assist. Uma could debate her in Teto Fananale, or could he fund his Sama members, the Gakulgas Langa Shal Portfolio Committee, or when the Lutima Eza Langa Pambili, a Kulumis in Doeguizona zone. Go to Agasia Kondu, what is there with elections? A Scatinus Nanesa, Manje, Guasatuba, Abanto Baltola, Bazama, Ugu Komba, a Zinto, Babega Matasha Zamyama, Ezin Duenezin, Lezen Zagalai. He was really out of order. Uh, he did not speak uh, to the issues uh, in the bill that were raised by the bill. Ubezo campaign and Jesus Tengela Mavot in Jongobasia with elections. Axio, the platform, your Gwenza local, Okatu Gwenza, Tikleg. Axio, the platform, your Gwenza local. We can organize a bantu for you to do that. And next time, we will be able to do that. And next time, we will be able to do that. Honorable members, we have now come to the end of the debate. Honorable members, we have now come to the end of the debate on the National Land Transport Amendment Bill, B70 of 2016. The House now needs to confer a final and a voting mandate on the bill as per request of the Transport Committee. The Quasar Natural Legislature agrees to confer authority on the KZN Provincial Delegation to the NCOP to cast a vote in favor of the National Transport Amendment Bill B70 2016 at the relevant NCOP Select Committee. And the head of the provincial delegation to the NCOP or delegate designated by the head of the delegation to cast a vote in favor of the National Land Transport Amendment Bill B70 2016 at the NCOP plenary. Those in favor of the bill say aye. aye. Those against say no. Aye. The ayes have it. Uh, the bill, will, the mandate will then be forwarded to the appropriate NCOP. We will then continue with item 5.2, debate and voting on the final mandate on the National Gambling Bill, B27B 2018. And uh, to introduce the bill, we we'll then call upon the chairperson of the portfolio committee, premier's portfolio committee, to give a report for five minutes, honorable NM Cos. Thank you, honorable speaker. Uh, in terms of uh, section 42, uh, clause 4 of the Constitution. The National Province, Council of Provinces represent provinces to ensure that provincial interests are considered in the national sphere of government by participating in the national legislative processes. The National Gambling Amendment Bill, which is a Section 76 bill in terms of the Constitution, was referred to the Premier Portfolio Committee in terms of Rule uh, 241 uh, clause one. In turn, the legislature is 
in terms of section 118 of the constitution compelled to facilitate the public involvement in the legislative process of the le uh, legislature and its committees. The bill seeks to address various challenges that were identified as hampering the effectiveness of the National Gambling Act of 2004, the Act Number no. 7 of 2004. The bill focuses on enhancing existing gambling activities and no, uh, and no new gambling activities are introduced. The bill further gives expression to the policy proposals aimed at reviewing the gambling landscape in South Africa. The bill's propose, uh, proposals are premised partly uh, on the Gambling Review commissioned, Commission report. Reports from Parliament on the GRC report, stakeholders and enge engagement, benchmarks and excursions conducted. The bill therefore amends the National Gambling Act so as to, uh, to amend and delete certain definitions to provide for the pro procedure for the forfeiture of unlawful winnings to national gambling regulator, to provide for the quorum to make uh, the final decision in the second meeting with the majority of the members present in the meeting, to, pro to provide the, uh, for the dissolution of the national gambling board, to provide the establishment of the national gambling regulator, to provide uh, for the appointment of the chief executive officer and deputy chief executive officer in the national gambling regulator, to provide the powers of the national inspectorate to cap payments emanating from illegal gambling activities, to enhance the powers and duties of the gambling inspector, to provide transitional arrangements, and to provide for matters connected here with, with the method of uh, work, the committee subsequently had a briefing from the Department of Trade and Industry uh, of the National Gambling Board in terms of Rule 242 uh, on uh, the 5th of uh, February 2019. And all processes were done. Uh, it is a, a, a very long uh, report this one of ours, can I go to submissions? Because the committee received uh, submissions from uh, all uh, stakeholders and people who've got interest in the industry. The submissions in a nutshell were rejected. The substantial part of the clauses which are the core of the amendment bill in summary, these were clause 28, uh, clause 12, Clause 15, Clause 24, Clause 26, and Clause 29, and Clause 40. All these showed that this is rejected. The committee, having considered the above submissions, agreed that these are substantial comments which are valid and of importance. They need to be addressed as proposed amendments at the select committee. The committee met on the 12th of 2019 and agreed to abstain from voting on the bill, subject to the proposed amendments and, princi and principal issues raised above being seriously considered by the Department of Trade and Industry prior to the final voting mandate being conferred by the House. However, the committee noted with, surprised, uh, with surprise that the select committee in its minutes only considered what was on the last page of the committee report. The committee was concerned about the confusion created by the reference to the National Gambling Amendment Act uh, 10 of 2008 in the B version of the bill, whereas the long title reflects the bill uh, as amended the National Gambling Act num number seven. Uh, Honorable Speaker, the Wazulu Natal provincial delegation to the NCOP Cast a, we, we, the, the, the committee recommends that they should cast a vote against the National Gambling Board, board against the National Gambling Amendment Bill uh, of uh, Section 27, uh, 2018, at the relevant NCP uh, committee. The head of uh, number two, that the head of the provincial delegation of the NCOP or a delegate des designated by the head of delegation to cast a vote against the National Gambling Amendment Bill uh, at the plenary. 
and Honorable Speaker, the, all the members and all parties agrees, ag agreed uh, unanimously on this. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Uh, the next member, Honorable S.J. Kabashe, on behalf of the NC, five minutes. Uh, Honorable Speaker, ku yas chabli sa ugote namtlanje sil tholi tuba ugote squazi ugote stoto sane ngale National Gambling Act uh, amendment yayo uh, etable <coughs> shwenga pam walind ugo kala nje mtlanje ngzo tandu ugote keng pege mufa mlandu enwayo le pili sizo kumbula ugote kune pili u National Gambling Act pili ka 2007 EU Act number 7 of 2004. Leo Bill, Yona, Eagate, Ikaita, and my provinces. Uguti, Umagu, Uguti, Jango, Mtetua, for men. As of Funuguta established, no ma akamge na wa wa ma pills. Ayo tata loko, Uwagate, ku contain wega kulem tetueni, anga tolagali, as a pumetelen gakul. But in this case, the people who are in the province of the province of the province of the province the province of the province of the province of the province of the Lagwa go corner local gog biz on my illegal operators, gog operator is in test fan and no pingo, ne zing in troubles of Cambridge. Quat Mangabama provinces and this is a Tulozao, good national office. Quabes a canyuga, ne penel a pegela in the book review of Alem Ted. Loco Gualit elect ten Besego Bage, ne National Gambling Amendment Act number ten of two thousand and eight. That act tige. Ya bonwa ya tilwa nayo no president wa ivoma wa isaina. The only problem ya bako na ugutu president agazange esa kubega no guti i proclamation yayo i kazetwe. Loko gagush guta i wona umteto i wona kotwa unale problem ya guti agwaz gutu i seven sengo kwele egbeni ingazange kazetwe. Leo pilige iona le Ama province INZ, ama inputs, ama ningi guona, genda by ama pingo, and pingo machines, ugwa ati manga begbo nagalu guti, ayiko it progress, maela na ne national office, in terms of ugwa sister, uguti kishulwe linking. Ama province is agama ningi, kakuluga azi province ya wazul natali, province ya se khauteng, free state na amanya, ati nese zenze lewo na ngogu awo, through imteto ya awo, Uguta guazo kutila na lezi zinte skulu mangazo. Iga kulgazi lezi za mapingo mechins na gogonko ugunye. Patige na lapoge <coughs> se kamungage in national office se instituta le eh, amendment le stila na unamitlanje. Ugu skata za yoga kulgazi nga ayo guti. Kwa abona galu guti zonki ze tule go 2008. Ez ningi zazo salenga panje azange zikonzi itwe. Instead wa kamuga egu ningi ogu nye ogu usha. Kanti kule ya na ugu bebebe tate ize tule za ze nzwe ngo 2008. Bezo siza as provinces as kwa zuguti si alaine gali. Nga kuge le approach le itandu guti isinige zinginga. Ugu kinage nesfisu guti sigbege la uguti. No mangabe zibe kona ink inga na eslanga beza nena zoga kulgaz. E somlomo, no masthale si reiza link inga yoguti. In National Assembly, ne NCOP, exeben sene nati njenga ma province. Abas nigi tubela nele, kwa manya ma pills, a complicated njenga le. Uguti squaz consulta, squaz gwenza ma inputs, si engage nabo, kula uma areas si na ma concerns gawo. Gengwazu ngena guwana gotwa giazu guti abatlo nishwa balandelayo 
bazo zreza lezi ntia zinye egu izo neza ama issues ngempela esi nama concerns ngao inkinga yete nkulu begu uguti ile besifunugu yi highlight ha uksuga kwi pil ka 2000 actia 2004 2008 na mtla nje spegene nale kota la ma kepsa wa so ge umasi zoba no mteto fana na lo uzo sinigezi nkinga tina kuma public hearings esbe na uwa zulu natal ago nuguti Gempela bantu bebe rejecta yonki nto. Bebe kale luguti. Why si kale i process enye. Singa zange stile na lezi nte za azukate zipaganyesiwe. Go 2008. Si kale lage uguti asilitola anga lelu tupa. Uh, the next member is Honorable ZM Mwango of the DA for four minutes. Premier. Um, Honourable Speaker, uh, the most important pillar of democratic government is public participation. Um, having said that, uh, Honourable Speaker, I want to register my disappointment in the manner in which the Chief Whip or Programming Committee treated this committee during a public hearing. Uh, this committee advertised on time, uh, our public engagement. And to our surprise, there were special sittings who were called on the same day where members of this committee were to go and engage with the public. So there's a disappointment, Honorable Speaker, because it happened twice, not twice as once. Honorable Speaker, I attended all the hearings and happy with the position we are taking today as this legislature to oppose this bill. This is because it sends a strong message that the public hearings shouldn't just be a tick box exercise, but a platform where we engage and listen to stakeholders and consider seriously what they are saying to us as members of this legislature. Uh, the other member who was here just now have covered very well the fact that this bill is all over. And it was difficult even for us as a committee to understand exactly what are we amending, 24 or 28, which really is a problem which was raised also by many stakeholders. Um, the most important challenge uh, on this bill, Honourable Speaker, uh, where as a DA we strongly have an objection to, is the introduction of a, of a national gambling regulator, thereby dissolving um, the National Gambling Board. While there might be challenges, on Speaker, with boards generally, but the proposal of a regulator is a very bad idea. This will definitely give power to just one person appointed by the minister. Basically, this will promote patronage network that we see every day under ANC government. Also, the, the other element uh, we also opposed is establishment and maintenance of central electronic monitoring uh, system to be extended to casino, uh, bingo, and betting activities. We do also oppose to this uh, proposal. Why we also believe it's a, it's a bad idea? On the NSEMS, there has, there has been no study into it it duplicates function and cost, cost of 6% gross gambling revenues to administrator. No one can tell us how they get to this figure. What it does to generate 1.6 billion a year for national port, that's a big uh, a question we definitely have. Honorable Speaker, the DA will be in power after 8 May and we'll, take, we'll look at this bill <laughs> accordingly. The DA support the recommendation from the committee. We oppose the bill. Thank you. Manchester Shailwa, let's ask you this aim to work. Okay. 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 The next member is Honorable Simango of the ISP. Her name is Zemtad. I'm Zemtad. 
Oh. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. The gambling industry in South Africa has become um, luxury from the tourist attraction and local entertainment in the recent decades. And more and more casinos have been established in the country. The IFP notes, among other things, the inability of the government to monitor gambling effectively, yet the impact and damage it has had to uh, people massive had to monitor gambling after yet impact it damage has been to people a massive. The gambling has failed to effectively find the ways to clamp down the mushrooming of illegally gambling machines across this country. Our people are in danger and some have lost their lives from this illegally uh, scheme, especially in the ones from the inter inter internet. The IFP believe internet gambling should be eliminated completely. Moreover, uh, some law more, this bill, Sibona E. is cut a push on us, so good, good, a way, Negan Gagan or Bapella, a Sesozoban is cut a sanele, Masses Buya, Sespetes of Petitinago Cobo. Uguti siwa zuri kubungu la gashe elepil manjelenti uguti ishushuni soga ngaga kukichi nyonga yo au asasi ngapel tu kichawepi ngoba isekati agnigwe ip gabusha laba abazo be sebe pete uguid ngakogi IFP. In Ileso Zatu Somlomo Etika, Neto Ba Negiwega Shabantu Bagi Tuguti Bakulu Mengayo Lepil, Nakoge, IFP Aitri Talipil. Manjege Somlomo Funugu Shonje Sen Salapans Uguti, Seabonga, Ukongo Losi Tuba or Neguelona, so is Kati say to Manje, Inkatage Ishi Luguti, is Kunza. Let's just say, no matter the galala, the government, what, so best pay to him. Some love. Thank you very much. Oda, Oda. The next member on behalf of the ANC is Honourable A. Thanks, thanks, Madam Chair. It, it gives me pleasure. All the honourable members, can you allow the member to start? Five minutes. It gives me pleasure, Madam Chair, to follow on the input made by the Premier in waiting. Uh, uh, honourable, His, His Excellency, Honourable um, Simang. Uh, Chair. The, the, the committee voted to reject the bill and uh, the, this uh, gambling, National Gambling Amendment Bill uh, dated 27th, uh, February 2019. The bill essentially provides for, I'll just mention a few things, the listing of unlawful gamblers and procedure for the forfeiture of unlawful winnings to the gambling authority, and uh, two, uh, the changes in the voting patterns at the National Gambling Policy Council, three, the extending of uh, the, national central, the National Central Electronic Monitoring System beyond the limited payout machines to the various types of gambling equipment in the country, and uh, in other words, it brings um, casinos, bookmakers, totalizer operators, and bingos under the eye of the Central uh, electro, electro, Electronic Monitoring System. For it abolishes the board and replaces it with a national regulator. And uh, uh, six, uh, it provides for a, a contractual term of the office of the CEO 
uh, stroke the national gambling regulator. And I must then uh, indicate, Chair, that under unlawful, unlawful gamblers, I think we must accept that the aim is to, pro is to protect the unsuspecting gambler and the proliferation of unlawful gambling uh, machines. And, uh, and also the loss of revenue to the state as a result of unlawful gambling activities, uh, stroke operations uh, in the province. That is a noble um, uh, objective, uh, Madam Speaker. However, a concern has been expressed that the bill does not make provision for the manner in which the listing is to be carried out such that a, a wrongful listing may actually cause an unwarranted repetitional damage to the person so uh, uh, as to be listed. So I think we've noted that and we have brought it to the attention of the select committee. Three on the changes of the voting patterns, and uh, this is not a welcome move, uh, Madam Speaker, since it entrenches dysfunctionality that the bill seeks to cure. This then suggests that an incorrect uh, council is empowered to make uh, decisions and, uh, for the whole uh, industry. And on the central electronic monitoring system, an argument has been advanced that there is no justification for a single um, central electronic monitoring system in respect of all the sectors of the gambling uh, that I've actually mentioned above. The industry argues against this move, stating that this will uh, place unnecessary financial burden and uh, as, as they currently have in place an in-house monitoring uh, system. They submit that, the, that currently the, the provincial regulator has remote, op, open quote, remote real-time access to these systems so that all the transactions can be monitored for purposes of te uh, taxation and that the gamblers are not taken advantage of. Lastly, and uh, we noted that the regulator will replace the board. The committee was not convinced that a single person appointed as a regulator will have sufficient skills as it currently exists in a maker for board to competently make wise decisions on as complete, complex matter as uh, gambling. Lastly, on the contractual term, we think that five years for a person appointed as a regulator will in actually bring an institutional loss to the institution. With those words, the committee voted to, the, we, 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 the, the, the ANC rejects the, the, mm, the, this is really. uh, thank you. The next is Honorable P.H. Kuzuayo on behalf of the NFP, Unum Zuzo Award. Two minutes. Madam Speaker, the National Freedom Party welcomed the amendment made on the final mandate of the Gambling Amendment Bill, which is Section 76, Ordinary Bills Affecting the Provinces. However, this bill must go an extra mile in strengthening South Africa's regulatory environment of the gambling industry. We understand that gambling is an existing proficiency of a provincial and national government. Therefore, norms, standards, policy, and legislative clarity has to be reinforced consistently. It makes logical sense that this bill is amended to allow the national gambling regulator to conduct inspection in provinces in collaboration with national. This, the NFP believe, will enforce compliance at all times and allow national gambling regulator as the entity to, as conducting its own, where the province cannot accompany the national gambling regulator. Thank you. The next member is Honorable Global, on behalf of the EFF, according to the amended list, 
he is not in the house. We'll then proceed to the next member, Honorable Takura Chpansi, not in the house. We we'll, we'll then proceed to Honorable E.V. Dube on behalf of the ANC. Got nine minutes. Ngiyabo ngakhulu somlomo. Ungabi khona kwamanye amalunga ngale ngapesheya ikakhulukazi la wabizayo. Kutshe ngisho ukuthi impawu ziyabonakala ukuthi izulu liyahloma. Ukhongolo sungenile bangase bangaphinde babuye kulendlu. Ingakho sebe isiza nje bengasondeni. Ngisukuma namhlanje ukubonga inhlangano yami African National Congress okuyinhlangano enkulu hayi kwaZulu Natal South Africa yonke. Intangano le echo inwe usizo mtunu. O mwenye wabantu agatebezi ngalabuto na manje kwe Democratic Alliance. Kota wabon kuti umakoni intanga nenga kubezela izu ele tipambili. Kutingega akakri ise aishie ETA. Ginekwe nisu kuti baningi. Gizwile sebe mbiza ngekesha. Bez kotla wabon kuti ba amakhehla ahlulekile ukukhulisa le nhlangano ya BDA ngincoma kakhulu le nhlangano engikiyona African National Congress eze yabonwa omunye wamalunga akulendlu unjabulo lomlaba ukuthi yona eyomwelisa afike ezweni lesethembiso baningi ke nabanye abasazolandela futhi imnyango ethu njengokhongo lose iyo hlala ivulwe ngaso sonke isikhathi siyancoma kakhulu Sia somlomo nendi yako Ngimi lapa ufumelana Nostalo we komiti Nesmumo asistati lenje ngo komiti Ubale pili si kite Kubalule gilu guti Imteto esi ishayayo nesi ifumayo Kubale omteto eso bafikela abantubagiti Kungu mlando obale gile omele si unome Uguti mpela njenga bantu Aba konjwe abantu bako zulu natali Uguba bazo oba mela We do take interest of their hearts Njenga bantu aba kulendu Asivu onanje ofu mazonke In the hearings it was clear That the interest of the people in the industry Was not seriously considered we reject the bill, obviously, because it is indicative that it is going to take away the power of the people. Not only that, but it's going to prove to be expensive when the systems are being changed. Ngea pinda futingiti, agyoninto soifu uma, iga kulgazi, uma ingege ipegelele, aba antubagiti, aba setembe, gamanda, Aba Talebes Votela, Abasas Votela Futi, Nango May eight, Kuya Bonaga Lok. Siak Vuma Guti, Lepil, Aigi Pegwega Busha, Iga Kulgaz, the Seal Lutzele, Quisix Parliament, Le Esses of Esses Pete, Jengo African National Congress, Empele ne Agukogning, Ogzo Kukoga, Gapanja Guti, Lendlu, Izo Gwanda, Gasasand and Sam Sogutla, Jengo Bakfane Legil. We note that the consultation was not done with the people in the industry, and the, I've said that there was an element of cost, as the passing of the bill will, will be of high cost, as the new system will have to be activated. Abaniga zbe mbonige, umabenga chablile, na ati njenga bantu ababa tumile, siabonisa unga chabul. Inga koge tina njengo African National Congress. Si rekomendi luguti lepil asi rechekte. Inige so iskati ikwa ningwe ipegwe gabusha. Kubonaga le izindela ezizo wazgutu kusebenza guayo. Kusinige zele ingubela pambil. Once more, I want to thank the African National Congress for taking the people of KwaZulu Natal serious and taking the people of South Africa serious. Ngiyamuzwa njenge 
ozi tembisa uguti uyoba uprimia kule province. E ozi tembisa uguti uyoba uprimia kule province. E kuluma kuzi azamile zindivu nge patronage. Nge sifunu kutembisa uguti abantu baka zulu natal abako tembile onaru mnuangu. Logo kubonswe na ilu ngel tala la lelu. Osizo mtunu obonisi uguti agagwe tembi ubu holi bako. Ba ningi kaba nga ptembi ubu holi bako. Na lo sekele nguwako aga ptembi ubu holi bako. Njobe kele nje aga ptembi ubu holi bako. Ushadiso uguti umfage elistin. Futike usazo buya soba imemba ANC. Njenga loka ilunga li ANC. Inga hako nje tati interest in the African National Congress. Ngoba baya itanda. Siafumage somlomo. Tina njenge ANC si rejecta le pil. Si pege umtaka eight. Lasi zobe si ofota kona. Si fotelu African National Congress. Lasi zobe si zon. Ngoba kono kukutina. I Democratic Alliance kule province. Kanye na bobonga bantu abashobe ni nayo. Siya bonga somlom. Oda. Oda. Honorable member, chairperson of the committee, you've got five minutes to round up the debate. Honorable and Koza. Oda. Honorable Speaker, thank you so much. Ang tata di tuba nok bonga, wonge ama members ate a debate agle bill. That was progressive. Iga kulu as NC and ikomiti si fisa ga kulu kshalwe pants ku consider all submissions for proper informed decisions. We 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 on the matter. Iga kulu njengo ba honorable kabasha eshilo Uguti ipil ingena kwi temptation in some point Lama amendments Ange ne where they refer to 2008 The act which was never promulgated Which was never put into effect Iu there's a gap between the two. We wouldn't love to get it in peace meals. We would love to get it yonke ipil. Sikuwa azukitala pansi sikuwa ninge kashika kuhu. Ngea izu age izi ndo ezi nge na yonje ezi ezi nga pilongi gile pil. Azi nga abi izi ndo ezi sechuga nisayo. Iga kuhu ngezu abe kuhu manang ezi ndo ezi under subjudicate. We are born among cool young girls in those amatala. Who cool young girls in Donje Obona Uti as it belongs in Nokogle Pil, a band to Gamabanga Peteluto, by Baubang and Jumsindo, Nangazindo, Esna, Esna Pilunging and Pelala. Langifiso Ungifisa Ugusho Uguti, the committee have taken a very wise decision, and I want to thank all the parties uh, for us not to rush. Like Honorable Kaba, a Shilo, Uguti, a Ipot, Umagba, I replace by Umdoyetwa, U CEO. Is in Dolezo, Ebona Uguti, the Safun Salila Pans, Nangona, as Guazuluna Natal, as the Funuguti City, as you buy as Buye is in. Kota si afunu kuti inigezu itu ba elanele. I sixth parliament i debate. I zindo leze. Masa slalele pansi se yo vumilana mslambi kutinini. Ngoba si yo besonke se si nda onye. In saying we do support i bill ngali so skat. Kota ogwa manje. We reject the bill. Seeking for i attention. As I was on Natal. Which cares for their people. We really care for our submissions in the way by abandabagi industry. We really care for our submissions in the way during public hearings. Uh, we therefore, uh, Honorable Speaker, we thank the House uh, and all parties for rejecting uh, the bill as the committee have indicated. Thank you so much. Uh, 
That then concludes the debate on the bill. We have come to the end of the debate on the National Gambling Amendment Bill, B27, B2018. The House needs to confer a final and voting mandate on the bill as per the request of the Premier Portfolio Committee. The Kwasud Natal Provincial Delegation to the NCOP cast a vote against the National Gambling Amendment Bill, B27, B2018, at the relevant NCOP Select Committee. And the head of the provincial delegation to the NCOP, or a delegate designated by the head of the delegation to cast a vote against the National Gambling Amendment Bill 27B, 2018, at the plenary. Those in favor say aye. Those against say no. The ayes have it. mandate has been conferred as per the request of the portfolio committee. It has been voted and agreed upon that the request of the portfolio committee be the mandate. There's no confusion about it. That then brings us to the end of the order paper. There are two announcements to be made before the House adjourns. One, members of the disciplinary committee are requested to meet immediately after the, the adjournment of the House at the ANC boardroom. The boardroom. I'm not disciplined, I'm The next announcement, all the Honorable Tube. The next announcement is also for members of the Finance Portfolio Committee are requested to remain in the chamber after the adjournment in order to confer a negotiating mandate on the 2019 Division of Revenue Bill B5 of 2019. We then bring us to the end of the business of the day I'll allow the premier if there is any announcement to be made at this point. Honorable Prima, any announcement that needs to be made? Honorable Premier. Uh, no, Madam Speaker, no announcement. My apology. The House is adjourned till the 27th. What show does the girl in for it? What show does the what you are now, you mean I am that Tima Kuka Biko in public here. I understand that Dalipala. So, where is this?